we gotta find the war room, which I assume is through here. Oh, that's Josephine's quarters. So the quest is just uh, finding your places. So this is where the War Council is. Yeah, I don't want to do that yet. I want to find Hawk. I just want to do the things. Meet my character from my last game. Um, map. So this is Josephine's right there. Solus, Dorian, and Leliana are over there. Um, um let's see. Cullen's there, Vivienne, Blackwall, Sarah, Iron Bull, Cassandra. So where's Varric? Where are ya? Ah, where is he? Where is this man? Forgotten boy. Cullen, Vivienne, Blackwall. Sarah, Iron Bull, Sandra. Where is Varric? Yes, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. I really hope this is it. I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. This is not it. deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Don't worry, Josephine. We'll protect the Empress no matter what. I pray you're right. If your vision of the future comes to pass, the death of the Empress heralds the destruction of everything. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Tedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. Does Selene know about the threats against her? Can we send word? I've sent messages to the Empress, but it's impossible to know if she's received them. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. Perhaps a few more alliances. Or soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orle. And soon. So that's the next thing to work towards. This thing threw me off because... Uh, because Josephine had the quest eye above her head, and then Varric's the one who is doing all the things. Is Varric up here, maybe? Yep, there's his quest eye. Although this is not how you get to him. Gosh, dang it. How the heck do I get there? Um, over here? Who are we, oh, that's Harding. I'll come back and talk to you, Harding. Majestic. How is a place like this ever lost? Please let this be. Let this be it. Hey, Varric. Mm. 
Okay, so I have to try to create the Sophie from my playthrough. Thankfully, I have a picture. I try to create her as closely as I can. Now, I might, like, facially, I'm going to try to create her as closely as I can, but I'm not going to try to create a... Let's see, she's not terribly far off. Um, the nose needs... Customize. Um, general. Her face. I mean, this this one's. What's the difference here? That's a very small difference. Um, this one's not terribly far off. Actually, that one's not terribly far off. Just the, just the cheekbones and then the chin a little bit. That'd pretty much be it. Uh, the eyes aren't great. <laughs> what? That is not a thing. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. She was pretty pale. Go like that. Eye color, she had brown eyes. So let's see. Can't tell what color your eyes look like. It's hard to see. Those are green. Those are blue. Now we're getting those. Those are purple. I think. Where are brown eyes? Those are kind of brown. I guess that's close enough. Um. Air. Oh, Hawk, how I've missed you. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna see, well, first let's fix the color, right? No, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it like that. I didn't have the blood swipe in the last game, but I'm gonna keep it in this one. So that's the general head and ears, ear size. Um, um, ear positions a little lower, maybe. There we go. So cheekbones, gotta raise her cheekbones. She had the higher cheekbones. All right, there we go. That's a little too high. All right. All right. This is hard. I think that's good enough. Cheek shape. She had a fairly. Stop freaking out, controller. What about like that? Brow size. Um. Forehead. On. That's about right. Uh, I think. Actually, let's pull her, push her brow back a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Um, eyes. Yeah, this we need to change. What? Uh, which eyes are closest to the one she had and? Two. So let's see. 
Those aren't terrible, but the eyes are. I mean, the pupils aren't great. So those first ones are probably closest. Make them a little bigger. Um, put them a little closer together. Actually, oops, I don't think. Oh, spacing, that's what we need. A close together like that. Eyebrows. Uh, oh, come on, the picture keeps going away as it's on my phone. That's uh, pretty close. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I like that, where it's like partially like that. So she's seen battle or something, but she has seen plenty of. Although that's also pretty close. That's good enough. Okay, so, oops. So you get brown by doing like dark orange. Inner iris color. Okay, there we go. Alright. Your nose. Tip bit like that though I don't think her nose was that long geez I wish the uh, stupid nose bridge size oh wait wait, wait. Um. about like that I mean, that's not perfect. Maybe we'll break her nose just a little bit. Actually, no. So her mouth, uh, let's see, her mouth, she has pretty thin lips. Actually her nose is a little high up now that I'm looking at it. I think I need to fix that. That's about, yeah, that's about right. So now, uh, let's look at the, consult the picture one more time. That's pretty close. Mouth position, that's good enough. Lip thickness, jawline, chin. Actually, that's pretty close. I don't think I need to change it. I don't think I need that, actually. No, we don't need tattoos. I think we got her. Sophie Hawk. Oh my gosh, this is one of the things I've been waiting for in the game for so long. I am ready. I am so ready. I'm accepting the changes. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title much anymore. 
Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. You've already dropped half a mountain on the bastard. I'm sure anything I can tell you pales in comparison. Oh, I don't know. You did save a city from a horde of rampaging Kunari. I don't see how that really applies. Or is there a horde of rampaging Kunari I don't know about? There's a Kunari. He almost qualifies as a horde all by himself. Fortunately, he's on our side. So, then, what can I tell you? Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. And great time for that to have shown up while I'm having this cutscene that I've been waiting everywhere for. If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible, but we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully, my friend in the Wardens will know more. I'll take any lead I can get at the moment. Good. I'll do whatever I can to help. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. Can Hawk join my party? Please tell me Hawk can join my party. You said you thought you killed Corypheus. The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. <laughs> maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back, or maybe it's old to Vinter magic, but he was dead, I swear it. I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. <laughs> I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. He was crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him, except this insane need to start a war no one could win. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? My sister's a Grey Warden. I had my friend Aveline take her as far from Orlea as possible. When all the Wardens started acting strangely, I had to keep my family safe. Where did you so no Bethany in this game then? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the Rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up and the exalted march never came. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. Look at this. The meeting of the minds, the meeting of the Sophies. Oh, man. I need to cut the recording now because this is too much of a good thing. Aye.